This week, Baby Grenade is in Birmingham, home of Cadbury's Chocolate, Aston Villa, and much more importantly, the biggest gaming festival in the UK, EGX. So come with us and we'll show you around. Okay, so Cube 2 is a, a first-person puzzle adventure game. Um, it takes place, it's a very like science fiction story. Um, you play as a stranded archaeologist called Amelia Cross. Uh, you wake up, you're not sure where you are, you need to figure that out. Uh, so uh, I'm Jonathan, I'm a lead designer at Cortink. Um, we're showing Augmented Empire here today, which is uh, our tactical RPG with a kind of heavy narrative like woven in between, um, kind of with XCOM combat interspersed with different bubbles of like exploration and uh, narrative there. David Giorgio and James Thompson. This is Balance of Kingdoms. All right, so we love this game. We've just had a go on it. Um, it's kind of a two-person game. You've got to build kingdoms on two separate platforms and knock each other's over. Um, and it's incredibly fun. We absolutely loved it. Hi, I'm Nick Makin of Making Games and the uh, lead programmer on Raging Justice. So tell us a little bit about it. So Raging Justice is a, a retro-inspired, nostalgic take on the, the kind of forgotten genre of the side-scrolling beat-em-up. We're trying to uh, bring back this old genre, but with a modern twist to make it feel fresh, make it feel new, but yeah, have that really nostalgic feel. Uh, my name's Tom Rigby and I'm senior designer on Strange Brigade. Okay, fantastic. Tell us a little bit about the game. So the game is a four-player action-adventure co-op game uh, based on these things we call Saturday matinee uh, shows, which were essentially the kind of the silly 20-minute, you know, half-an-hour things of these people going to exotic places and like plundering like for gold and killing mummies and things like that. And so we thought, why not make a game of that? My name's Becky, uh, I am part of the events team here at Special Effects. We are the Gamers Charity. So tell us a little bit more about what you do. Cool, so Special Effect uh, make and modify video game controllers for people with uh, physical disabilities so that they're still able to play video games. We have a team of occupational therapists that work at the charity and we'll go out and actually visit people in their homes and fully assess their needs, their movement and what games they want to play. So we don't just work with a set number of games like you can only play this or you can only <laughs> play that. It's what do you want to play, what do you want to play it on, what's your favourite console and we will try and make that happen for people. My name is Robbie, I'm Head of Marketing and we're here at EGX with Road Trooper Redux. So tell us a little bit about the game. Uh, so, I don't know if you remember, but Road Trooper was a game in 2006, it was one of the first cover shooters, it was actually out before Gears of War and many of the games that kind of made the genre massive. Um, it's based on the 2000 AD comic that's over 30 years old, it's got a lot of heritage to it and we're really excited to bring back the 2006 game but updated visually and with a few new features as well. And uh, it's the first time we've had it at the public in the UK on Switch, which is really exciting. Mark, I'm also known as Valkyrie and I'm a full-time Twitch streamer and I play Overwatch. So obviously you're at EGX, you were here to stream on the Twitch stage and got kind of signed up for the Road to EGX Overwatch tournament. Why don't you tell us a bit about what it's been like to participate in that? Uh, it's fun. I mean, I always have fun playing Overwatch. Uh, it's kind of what I do best, really. But yeah, no, it's, I saw it on the side. I thought, you know, let's sign up and play some of the people that uh, are here as well. And I've had a lot of fun doing it. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> We're back in the PlayStation section. I've just tried out Monster Hunter World. I love this. I'm a bit biased because I am a huge fan of the series. Um, played all the weird versions, played the Japanese only versions, love it. Um, and I have to say this one entirely lives up to its legacy. I mean, you're still fighting huge monsters. You're still using weapons that are bigger than you are and just absolutely a worthy sequel. Uh, hi, I'm Max from Color Fiction and uh, I'm the creator of Zero North, Zero West. Uh, it's uh, basically a musical journey through different dream worlds, and it's all about relaxation and exploration, 
It's a place you want to go to at the end of a rough day. Uh, I've been working, uh, like I told you earlier, I've been working um, in a garage for the past three years, not talking to anybody about the game. So to come here and show it to everybody and seeing everybody enjoy it and finding it weirdly addictive is, is, is great. Day three of EGX, Fantastic. done. <laughs>